Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first video and I'm so excited. This is like literally a dream come true right in front of my eyes. Like I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel since I was like five years old. So this is crazy that this is happening now. Finally, I'm so, so, so excited. So yeah, here's my channel. Welcome to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna be uploading like once a week i'm gonna try and see how that goes i have a big list of ideas for videos and i'm so excited to share that with you guys so yeah i thought i would do a q a for my first video i thought that was the most fitting so you guys can kind of get to know me hear me talk it's gonna be fun um so i went on my instagram and asked you guys questions for my youtube channel so i'm gonna be answering those today and i'm just gonna get started all right, we're just gonna we're just gonna hop right into it. So, the first question is, what's your favorite coffee order? <laughs> so I have a pretty boring answer. I don't drink coffee. I just don't like the taste of it. I don't know. I I just don't like it. All right, next question is, who's your favorite photographer? <laughs> so my favorite photographer actually asked me this question. His name is Caesar. I'm going to put his Instagram right here. I shoot with him all the time. He's definitely my favorite. I trust him. I love working with him. He's amazing. So if you guys haven't checked him out, definitely do so. How old are you? I am at 20 years old. You are Mexican? I am Mexican. I get this question so much like regarding my ethnicity. Everyone asks me, like, are you Mexican? Do you speak Spanish? So I'm half Mexican. My dad is full Mexican. My mom is Italian and European. I think she's mainly like Lithuanian. So yeah, I'm half Mexican and European and Italian. I grew up in a Mexican household. Um, my dad and his parents spoke a lot of Spanish around me as a child. So I actually did know a lot of Spanish when I was younger, but then my mom and dad got a divorce. So I kind of lost it because I lived with my mom and my sister and obviously she didn't speak any Spanish. Well, some, but not like fluently. So I kind of lost it, unfortunately. Um, it's definitely my responsibility to pick it back up though and learn Spanish, so it's definitely a goal of mine. But as of now, I do not speak Spanish fluently. That wasn't even the question, but... <laughs> um, all right, next question. What's your favorite beach in San Diego? This is hard. There's so many beautiful beaches. I would probably say Sunset Cliffs is very beautiful and also Coronado. I like Coronado as well. Uh, what's your favorite food? Sushi. What's your favorite thing about yourself? I like this question a lot because I think it's very important to talk positively about yourself and say the things you do like about yourself. It's not a bad thing at all. Um, so I think the f my favorite thing about myself is probably that I'm kind. I'm a very kind person, I think so. Um, although it can kind of be bad sometimes because I feel like in some situations I let people like walk all over me, which isn't good. But overall, <laughs> I feel like I like that I'm kind. I mean, I can never really like, you know, be a little fireball sometimes, but overall, I think I'm a pretty nice person. How much thicker do you want to get? <laughs> so if you are new to my channel or my Instagram or don't know much about me, I am really into fitness. And about a year and a half ago, last August, I think is when I started my fitness journey, I was pretty thin and now I'm not as thin. Um, I don't think I'm thin at all right now. So I, I don't know how to answer this, but I'm just gonna keep lifting and keep eating and see what happens to my body, but I'm really, really loving my body right now, so we'll see what happens. Next question, how long did it take for you to grow your glutes slash hammy slash quads? Um, I would say about a year and a half. That's how long I've been um, like lifting weight for, so. Attractive things in a guy. Hmm. I'd say the most attractive things in a guy personally is loyalty, humor, kindness, respectful for sure. And yeah, I mean, those are great aspects to have in a person, in my opinion. Are you religious or spiritual? I grew up Catholic and I went to Catholic school and did my communion and all that stuff. But unfortunately, I kind of just lost my connection. Um, with Jesus. I wouldn't say I'm very religious, um, but it's definitely not something I'm opposed to. You know, maybe sometime when the time is right, I will become religious again, but right now I'm not. Um, am I spiritual? Not 
too spiritual, but I would like to be. Lasagna or pizza? Pizza. I love pizza. You look tall. How tall are you? I'm only 5'5". Five five. I'm actually just under 5'5", five five, so I'm pretty average, I think. Do you travel a lot? No. But hopefully in the future, after um, coronavirus is contained, hopefully, then yes, I would love to start traveling. Um, I've actually never been outside of the United States. I don't even have a passport. Never had a passport. I've been to like probably like 10 states in the United States, but that's about it. But I would love to travel. It's like a dream of mine. I've just never like, before like Instagram and all of this, like I, I didn't have money. Like I don't come from like a rich family or anything. So I just never did any traveling, but it's definitely something that I've always wanted to do. When's your birthday? April 17th, I'm in Aries. Social or antisocial? I'm antisocial, I would say. Do you have an OnlyFans? Yes, I do have an OnlyFans. You can go to my Instagram bio and check that out. Is your butt fake or not? To be honest, I don't care. <laughs> this is funny. It's not fake, I promise you. I get this question like all the time. I post like transformation, like pictures and videos and me in the gym. Like I feel like it's pretty obvious it's not fake, but believe what you want. I promise you it's not though. Is your family supportive with everything you do? For the most part, yes, especially my mom. She's like my rock and she supports everything I do. And honestly, that's who I care about the most. <laughs> of course, my mother. But overall, my family, I would say pretty much supports me, but there's definitely, you know, some family members who, who don't. And, you know, that's them and their morals and stuff. And that's totally, totally okay. Um, but yeah, I don't have everyone's like full support yet, but I'm working on it. Your fitness is addictive, how? I hope I'm not misinterpreting this, but I think you mean like you're addicted to fitness. Like how did you become addicted to fitness? It's just kind of takes time. Like I definitely was not into fitness at all before like last year, like at all. But as I started going and as I started to just look and feel healthier and loving my body more, the more I wanted to go to the gym and it just never stopped. And I feel like it's like that for most people. Like once you just start going and forcing yourself to go and make it a habit, I think I read this thing that said like, if you do something straight for 21 days, it becomes a habit or something. So try going to the gym for 21 days and tell me how that works out for you. And just like, actually like, like it and know that it's benefiting you and your body. And I promise you, you will start to like working out. Okay, so my camera died, so sorry for the lighting change and the background, but we're just gonna go ahead and continue. If you could live anywhere, where would that be? Um, hmm, anywhere, probably Hawaii. Hawaii is so gorgeous. I've been once and I'm going again next year, but I absolutely love it. And this is kind of off topic, but kind of not. Um, I'm actually moving to Washington in 2021, which is really exciting and really different. I know that might be like a surprise to most of you since I'm like born and raised, California girl, you know, but I don't know, I just kind of want a change and I'm just ready to live somewhere else, I guess. It's really expensive here in California and Washington is beautiful and a lot cheaper and I like the vibe there. So I'm gonna live there for like probably like a year and just see how I like it. And if everything goes well, then who knows, what'll happen, but I thought I would like let you guys know. But yeah, I'm really excited, so a little off topic, but um, what's your favorite TV show? Ooh, I don't even know. Right now I'm watching The Grand Army on Netflix. I like it, it's pretty good. And I'm also watching The Bachelorette, of course. I always watch like all those shows. But like a, I'm gonna say like an overall favorite TV show I've ever watched. Probably Breaking Bad or Ozarks. I love Ozarks. Or is it called Ozark? The Ozarks. Yeah, the Ozarks. I don't know. It's been a while. They need to come out with another season. Oh, and Stranger Things. I like Stranger Things a lot too. Waiting for the next season as well. Are you messy or clean? Mm, I would say a little bit of both. I say overall, I'm a pretty clean person. Where I'm messy at is like my closet. When I am getting ready or something, I'll just like throw clothes everywhere and then I'll be really lazy to put them back. Or if I like go to a photo shoot or something and I have like a big bag full of stuff, it'll take me like days to put it away. 
laundry, it'll take me days to fold it, like, when it comes to that stuff, yeah, I guess I'm, like, a little messy, but overall, like, I'm a pretty clean person, I like having my cleaning days, I actually cleaned a lot today, because it's Sunday, I always like cleaning on Sundays, dogs or cats, definitely dogs, I have a little puppy, I'm gonna show you guys him, actually, he's sleeping underneath my foot, here he is, <laughs> oh, baby. his name's Churro, he is a Cheryl, why are you being all like that? Come on, look. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh, he's like barely looking, but he's a mini golden doodle. And he is almost 18 weeks old on Wednesday. So yeah, it's been a while since we got him at like nine weeks, I think. And he's a crazy puppy <laughs> to say the least, but we love him so much. Summer or winter? winter i think i really like summer too though but i say overall winter um do you like scary movies i love scary movies like love them i like pretty much anything when it comes to like super like messed up movies like i know there's a movie that went around like a few weeks ago called megan is missing it was pretty like disturbing but it wasn't like as bad as i thought i guess but like those kind of movies like disturbing movies i'm not too into it's more like just like those scary, like cheesier kind of movies, like The Conjuring and Insidious and stuff. Like I like those kind of movies. Would you get any surgery done? Um, yes, I would get surgery done. I'd say probably a boob job. Although I would, like I'm not going to get one, but like I want one. I just, it's too expensive and I also feel like I might regret it. And I've also heard like horror stories that scare me away which is a good thing because i really don't need it but then like you know because i'm like on social media of course and you know i see these girls with like these you know and i'm like damn like <laughs> maybe i should get a boob job but overall i don't think think i would um other than that though, i wouldn't want any other cosmetic surgery personally but i'm not against them at all you know you do you Okay, I'm going to end it with this last question, and it is, what is your YouTube channel going to be about? So, I'm just going to make, like, a bunch of different videos. So, obviously, right now I'm filming a QA. and a I have a behind-the-scenes photo shoot that I'm going to be uploading very soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, and I'll probably upload a few of those. Cooking. A lot of you guys ask me about the food that I cook, because I post it on my Instagram sometimes. So, I think it would be kind of interesting to do some, like, cooking videos some yoga, some try-on hauls, um, like a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to see, just let me know and I will film it. Vlogs. Um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be really fun. All right, guys. So that was my first video all done. That is insane to me. Oh my God, my first YouTube video. So cool. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was somewhat interesting and you got to know a little bit more about me um and like i said i'm going to be uploading a new youtube video soon so please subscribe please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye